I'm Rob Liguria, Senior Editor at Gold Derby, and I'm here with two-time Emmy nominee Lily Taylor, who stars in Outer Range as family matriarch Cecilia Abbott. So Lily, there's so much to unpack with this show. We could be here for hours. I won't do that to you. But what I would love to talk about, first of all, is the visual language that the show presents to us. It's breathtaking. And frankly, the story blew my mind and I'm still kind of wondering what the hell happened. So before we go any further, what did you most love about being a part of the show and bringing this story to life? I loved the collaboration with everybody. We were there for about eight months during COVID and it sort of felt like a, like an outward bound, like a, like, a, like a camp. So we were all bonded. And then, um, and then I loved the elements. I think the elements were, were a character in the, in the show, the wind, the vistas, the heat. Wow, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, you know, because it is beautiful to look at. Like, honestly, it is one of the most breathtaking shows to experience. And um, I was also thinking this, this show rewards viewers um, that are patient and are willing to pay attention to the detail. And I give so much credit to the team for having some faith in the audience, you know, and, and um, thinking that we'll, we'll go along for the ride. Um, so that begs the question, are the actors privy to the show's secrets and where the narrative is headed? On this one, yes. Um, Brian, the creator, was really collaborative with us, which is oh, I always love, but I understand it if they can't be, but yes, he was. And as I said, it's like, we went through a lot like COVID, snowstorms, Josh was shirtless, it was 20 degrees, you know, we, things that didn't make sense sometimes, you know, like, <laughs> and so we had to kind of like, but wait, 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 let's stop for a minute. I need to understand the physics of this situation. Please explain to me what, for instance, the hole is, you yeah. know, I, that would help me, you know? And so sometimes they, we'd have to all get together and sort of come up with it together. Um, but I have to say Amazon and Josh were huge in terms of that thing you just described, treating the, the audience with respect and like they have intelligence. Yeah, I, I really appreciate that because I mean, there's a few shows out there that really do that and, and, and reward patients. Um, but I, I also wonder when you are given the detail and you're privy to all those details, What's your reaction? Like, what did you think about where the show is headed? Well, I mean, we still haven't learned quite a lot about this family. We're going to learn more about it in season two. But what did you think when you found out? I I actually didn't find out about. Uh, we can it's on, so we can give spoilers, right? Or, or yeah, yeah. If, if you haven't seen the show yet, off you go. Go and watch it. Yeah, um, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I did not know that the little girl was till much later. Um. Um, I, I thought that was very cool. I thought things that I was scratching my head about, I saw there was a rhyme to the reason. And then yeah. there were other things where there were sometimes that where there was something that maybe I didn't exactly buy and, and then they were open to, to changing it, you know, to working on it. Like the bear scene, there was a lot of stuff with the bear stuff that I, that we needed to work out. Really? Yeah, give, yes. yeah. Well, how come? What, what do you mean? Well, they had it so that Cecilia um, was treating the bear at one point, like had dressed the bear up. Oh. And that's a very different character. Like that's, that is, if that's who you want, we've got to change a lot of other things because the character yeah. that I'm seeing would not dress a bear up. There's no way. Mm. Um, no, she would keep the bear safe, um, the little baby bear safe uh, until it could like maybe, you know, if it has a shot at living and if it doesn't, she'll prop bury it. But there were things like that, that just like, you know, you know, we, you have to understand, like there's an idea of a rancher and a Westerner and, and then there's the real thing. Like, like yeah. they didn't want me to have an eye watch. And I was like, no, ranchers are modern. Like, Believe me, there's so much I got to fucking do on, you know, there's a yeah. lot I got to do. Give me an eye watch, beat it up. Yeah, that's fascinating. It's those little nuances that I, I think they're just so interesting. With the bear, I, this is what I really loved. 
she's attacked by the mama bear in episode seven because mama bear's coming around trying to find her baby and cecilia has to shoot it dead which she does though with tears in her eyes because she's a mum too and it's a stunner of a scene as effectively two mothers have this reckoning with each other and cecilia watches over her as she takes her last breath i was gobsmacked and so if that's my reaction what about you you're doing it well here's the thing is they had me shooting the beer bear unprovoked and no i said absolutely not there's no way she just would not do it like i mean i think maybe it was a great idea and he wanted to pair that with autumn and the whatever but i'm like yeah yeah no please have the guy in the in the bear the the guy had to have this like bear head on and like a silver suit and cgi stuff yeah yeah and i'm like have this guy come at me please please or i won't shoot and so we worked it out because yeah it's like i and look they listen to the actors because when an act you know when an actor's like (laughs) you know don't buy it don't buy it listen to them because they're they're inside of it but i mean does that happen very often that you're able to give you're given that freedom to speak up no no you know we're infantilized a lot and some yeah. of us haven't helped with that reputation. I'll admit, there's some there's some of yeah. us who have not not given us a good name out there. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm on that. like so. You have the confidence. You obviously this is fostered on set, but you have you're given the confidence to speak up about the, this character that you're in her head. Okay, you understand her maybe better than anyone else at that point. You're playing her, and you're able to say no, 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 no she wouldn't do that. And it's you're right. Cecilia is only going to attack when she has to. To protect her family okay she's a matriarch and so that's spot on I'm, I'm actually really amazed i did was not expecting you to tell me that that's cool that's really cool it is and i think when a show is really good they start to the creators start to trust the actors midway through because right. they start to realize uh, yeah okay you you got the leverage because you're in the soul and i just yeah. wrote it yeah yeah that's right and the thing is like you this is not your first radio I and mean, you've been around for a while you know what you're doing Speaking of rodeos, that was my, that was my, <laughs> take that out, Very out good. Way. Um, that whole sequence at the rodeo, uh, am I even saying it correct? That's my Australian accent, rodeo, I don't know how you say that. Um, oh, you got it right. Yeah. Okay, good. So that part of it for me felt like a dream, like an auteur art film. Um, as Amy goes wandering off and Cecilia panics and the camera spins around her and she realizes Amy's gone, and then Cecilia can just loses it because she she real she knows she actually knows that Amy's actually gone. So mm-hmm. what was going on on set that day and in, in prep to prep for that scene for Cecilia to come to that realization? Because I was still trying to follow how she got to that point. Did it add up for you? Yes, it did. But it, but it, but but it added up here. It was more of a visceral thing than it was in my head. If sure, that makes of sense. course, it does make sense. Like I actually had to write like out a calendar for because the, all of it takes place in like eight days. Right. And I, I realized, I was like, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, time out, wait. All this happens on one day? I know, it's, yeah. You know, and they were like, yeah. I'm like, okay, wait a minute. My farm is gone. My son is dead. Um, okay. So I had it all there and I would talk to Larry, the director about, you know, all that had happened and how we got to this point. And I could make, it made sense in my mind um, that, I think the main thing was, is that Cecilia had gone too far in the transgressions of the first one being that she lied and that her son had killed somebody. There was no kind of turning back from that point. And so that was just that and everything else was just too much to bear. And and Larry was great. Like Larry, the director really helped because that's vulnerable. Look, I was at a rodeo there's extras around. I'm freaking out. It's very uncomfortable to I know, freaking right? go there. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. You've really got to go there. And because I was like, do you think Cecilia, <clears throat> does she feel like, is she blaming herself at all because she wasn't able to hold it all together for her family is in any way? Or is that, did that not really occur to you? Yeah, I think that's there. I think so. I think it was, um, I think, it, I think it was a real Job moment. I think it was really, why have you forsaken me? Like feeling right. like maybe she had a naive sort of faith, like a, like a child almost, 
like, if I do this, God will do that. And all of a sudden her, the earth is opening up, like it doesn't life on life's terms. It doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. And her cracking and not being able to really hold those two things at the same time. Yeah. That's fascinating. Obviously at, in her home, she has the sign, the cross stitch. Oh Lord, reveal yourself to us. And we're, that's, that's a nice um, kind of a signpost that she is having a crisis of faith and she's very, um, loyal woman and has and, and believes in God and all those things so what was going through your mind if you can think back to shooting those scenes where she's where her faith is not really there for her I guess when she thinks that it would be and that's how I was perceiving it and what what happens what's yeah. what is she going through what is she going to do now it's like her faith's not there to to um be a safety net for her so now what she's untethered that's how I saw it Exactly. I think by the very end, um, I I feel like I've been through a war and we lost. And there's I don't even have the energy to wave a right white flag. Like it's just um, everything is gone. Everything is gone. And it's like that feeling that there's no net that you're just going to keep falling. Yeah. That's insane. Like the fact that we're having this discussion about a TV show, it just shows you that there's a lot going on on this show that really resonates with the audience. What does it do to you as the actor performing this role and being so in part of, you're in the eye of the storm, when it's all said and done, does it actually stick with you for a while or are you able to just shed it off and move on to the next project? No, this stuck with me. It stuck with a lot of us. Um, I think a lot of us had trouble sort of shaking it. Cause again, really? it's like eight months during COVID, so we weren't yeah. allowed to see any, okay, so, and we're out at this ranch, it's as isolated as it seems, it's like there's nothing around, and and we got close, and we we all fought for this show, because they went through a lot of, a lot of bumps, oh, a lot of bumps, yeah. a lot of bumps, so I think that we did it, like we did it, and I was so, I really loved the music too, and I loved Thanks. the visceral yeah. feeling, that what, how you first sort of started the conversation, like the visual and the, yeah. I felt like it's a ride. This is so fucking cool that my yeah. body's feeling this show. I know, I don't know if you remember, I think it was the beginning of season, uh, episode four, Jennifer Getzinger directed it. And it um, there's this montage of like the land moving and like over history. And then it ends with, and the land and the sky didn't give a shit. Like, cause <laughs> honestly, we are just tiny little specks and uh, but then we get to go really micro onto this family to work out what the hell has happened over eight crazy days. So that leaves us at this point now where we have seen a bit of the future because Abbott's gone through the uh, Royal's gone through the hole and he saw that future. Cecilia is supposed to be have his back. She's the matriarch. She protects and yet She's the one that says to him, run. So she's already moved on to the other side. She's on Autumn's side with the mining company. I don't know. I was really, really gobsmacked. What did you make of that? <laughs> if you, maybe you already know, but what did you make of it? I don't actually. And in some ways I kind of thought like, this is so kind of out there anyway, that I didn't need the physics of that to help me with the scene because it's sort of like, um, there's some things as an actor, you can just say, you know what? I'm okay if I don't know all that. And then there's some times where it's like, no, I have to know that actually. That one was like, all I knew was that the the passion of Royal falling into a cult, really. It yeah. could, I could not live with that. So his spirit needed to run. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I like that actually. Yes, I think that actually is what I wanted you to tell me. Okay, so then my final question about just in terms of the plot points, because I'm hoping fans of the show might watch this and get a few extra insights is at the end, um, Royal sister Cecilia, he pleads with her, I want my family back. She kicks the table over and she declares, no, our family's gone. Our children are gone. Amy is gone. And that's it. So that moment between you, I thought was electric. And I want to know, firstly, what did you most value? You've already kind of touched on this already. What did you most value about working with Josh Bowler? Because he, is, he seems larger than life on screen. Josh is my soul brother. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's my, he's, I love Josh. I mean, I feel like, He's, he's sort of inside of me and I sort of use him as a healthy kind of champion. 
and to just he's my supporter he's he's my i love josh and i felt like we were partners and i just i just love josh i love him you hadn't worked with him before have you no but i felt i felt like i had how does he that feels like a brother how do you get that kismet where you find somebody and you're able to have that connection? We talk about chemistry, which I find a really cliche term these days, but if it's, you can tell if it's not there. And, and honestly, it really is between the two of you. It's like this unspoken, there's almost an animosity between the tar- two characters, but they obviously really do care about each other. How do you develop that? I know, you know, it, it is sometimes <laughs> like, it's sometimes it's like uh, out of your control and it, it's like, you don't have, it's like it's grace in a way. I mean, or it's something, I can't explain it. When you don't have it, you just have to act like hell. And and do, you know, and just, and then just fucking, you know, be grateful for the ones when you connect. But yeah. Josh, right away, I just knew, oh, brother, this is gonna be a blast. We're, we, we're good, we're good. Yeah, and we feel the same way. When I, when I first came upon the show, I'm like, Okay, so it's kind of like a Western sci-fi. Okay, cool. It stars Josh <laughs> Cole and Lily Taylor. Okay, I'm there. That's going to be incredible. And then, of course, the supporting cast. And you've got, like, Noah singing all those songs. I still have no idea what the hell is going on with that character, but I'm <laughs> there. I'm down for it. Like, I mean, so what's the feeling amongst it? Are you in production on season two yet? Have you started filming? Oh, they no. haven't announced it. Oh, okay. I'm just assuming, like, it's happening. But um, Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to sure. ride that. It, it bloody well better happen or there's going to be, I'll, I, will, I, will, I will, I'll, I'll, I'll write a very good it. email. Um, so let's hope that you get back. Are you, uh, I guess you're looking forward to getting back to the ranch. And, uh, and I want to go stuff. back so bad. I loved the job. I just loved it. I want to go back. Oh, that's really refreshing to hear. You can tell, you can tell when the, when the cast and crew are really into it because the show just really works. And I just want to be more immersed in that again. Um, but Lily, in the meantime, I guess we'll just have to, if, if you, if you celebrate, if you believe in God, pray for uh, a season two. And if not, um, it was a blast. I had a really good time with your show and, and congrats on some really, honestly, some really strong work, like really. Thank you.